One evening, Amy was up late reading her favorite book under the covers. The room was dark and Amy had nothing but her flashlight on. Amy, are you still up reading? No, Mom. I'm getting ready for bed. Amy's mother didn't believe her and quickly pushed open her bedroom door only to find Amy reading yet again in the dim darkness. Amy, how many times have I told you you should not be reading in the dark? It will ruin your eyesight. If you keep this up, you'll have to get glasses. Mom, I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Amy put her book away, turned her flashlight off, and went quietly to sleep. The next morning at school, something strange was happening to Amy. She noticed the words appeared more blurry than usual on the chalkboard. Right after school, Amy went straight home and told her mom that she was having trouble seeing. Wow, Amy, I'm certainly not surprised you're having vision problems. I'm sure this has everything to do with you reading in the dark. We're going straight to the eye doctors. And so they did. Amy's mom called to make the appointment. They went straight to the clinic and waited patiently in the room for Dr. Thomas. Hi, Miss Watson. Hello, Amy. How can I help you ladies today? Well, Dr. Thomas, Amy has trouble seeing. She claims that everything appears to be blurry. Amy, if that's the case, let me go ahead and take a look. Dr. Thomas examined Amy's vision. Well, Mrs. Watson, it appears that Amy has myopia, also known as nearsightedness. It's actually pretty common and often starts around this age. Dr. Thomas pointed to a diagram of an eye and started to explain to Amy and her mother how this organ works. Now our eyes work by gathering light from the outside world. Inside the eye, there's a glass-like structure called the lens, whose job is to bend all of the incoming light so it lands onto one spot of the retina. The retina is a special layer at the back of the eye that has cells called photoreceptors, which transforms the light into signals that can be sent to our brain and finally create an image. With myopia, the lens is unable to focus the light correctly, but instead focuses it in front of the retina. Because of this, Amy has trouble seeing objects at a distance. Oh, I heard about this in class, but doesn't the eye have something called the iris and pupil too? You're right! Here's the pupil and here's the iris. The iris is the colored part of the eye. It has muscles that can change the size of the pupil, the opening to the iris. Intrigued by this new information, Amy started asking questions about what happens to your eyes if there's lots of light or if there's low light. Well, Amy, when there is a lot of light, your iris will shrink the pupils. But when there is very little light, your iris will make your pupils bigger to allow more light in. Wow, this is so cool! Amy, I told you, you should not have been reading in the dark. This is why you're getting glasses. Um, I'm sorry for intruding, Mrs. Watson, but that is merely a myth. In fact, Amy's condition of myopia is genetic. Myopia happens when your eyeball is too long or when the cornea and the lens are too curved for the length of your eyeball. Dr. Thomas, what does genetic mean? Take a look at your mother, Amy. She wears glasses, as does your father and your brother. Your chances of getting glasses and having myopia is passed down from your parents. I'm sure there are still problems that arise when reading in the dark. You're right. Although reading in the dark will not cause the development of myopia, it can still strain your eyes. Strain? Well, it means that your eyes get too tired and overworked from looking at an object, especially in the dark. And when your eyes get tired, you can easily get a headache. Here, let's do a quick experiment to show this. Amy, can you hold your arm out for one minute, please? Yes, for sure. Wow, this is so easy. Okay, now try to do this for five minutes. Ugh, oh, this is way harder. Exactly, so the reason why I asked you to do this is to give you an idea of how the muscles in your eye work. The longer you stare at something, especially in the dark, the harder your eyes are working, making them feel tired and strained. Amy was fascinated by everything she's learned today. Thanks, Dr. Thomas. Now I understand why I can't see the chalkboard in class. I have trouble seeing objects at a distance because, well, my eyes are weirdly shaped. And because of that, my lens can't focus the light on the retina properly. And mom, I got it from you and dad, not from reading in the dark. Oh, Amy, now it's time for the fun part. Let's go pick out your glasses. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this video, please comment, like, and subscribe to our channel for more demystified medical topics.